Hello, YouTube! I'm Jake from Peyton being their friend, and to the left of me, we have Peyton B from Peyton B and their friend. And today we have a Walmart haul. I know, guys, very, very exciting stuff. So, first off, we'll actually get into what I bought most recently. Uh, which is, <laughs> yeah, you can introduce it, Pandy. Exactly, we got <laughs> shirts. This one here was on um, clearance for eight dollars. I think it was. <laughs> How much I bought it at four. And then next we have a bluey shirt. Cause um yeah, got this for five dollars. And um yeah, I started watching Bluey recently. And, uh, you know what? I don't typically watch newer shows, but, you know, I will say I'm pretty impressed with Bluey. I think it's a pretty good show. And Pay and V has been watching it with me some, too. And, um, yeah. She says that she agrees. <laughs> Next. <laughs> We have our physical media. Oh boy. Now, first off here, we have a three film collection. Uh, we got Beetlejuice. We got uh, Corpse Bride. And then we got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh... Yeah, not exactly sure why we needed to put all three films together, but, uh, I guess, I guess, yeah, we got this because, um, yeah, the, um, the disc that we had for Beetlejuice, <laughs> um, you see, Connie's Creations at one point owned that movie on VHS. And then, as most people who owned VHSs did, once they realized that VHS as a medium just kind of sucks in comparison to DVD, um, they all rushed to turn their VHSs in to DVDs. Uh, so yeah, here. Alright, here's in the disc. This is so floppy. This. Guys, this plastic is like. This, I think this is like literally the floppiest plastic I've seen used for these. Good grief. This must be some cheap crap they're using. But yeah, here's Beetlejuice, and then Corpse Bride on one disc. And on the second disc, we have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Which, um, yeah, I'm not very impressed here with this case. It, like... This is just, this is actually like awful. This is a, yeah, that's very cheap casing I've seen there. All right, and then next we got the Metallica, and we got their album "Ride the Lightning." I know, guys. Um, I said I wouldn't get any more of the Walmart albums, but I seen this there. You see, there was a reason why 
I needed to get it, okay? Because recently, while, um, I was having to take a dumb uh, trip to, I guess, Cincinnati. That's where I was going. Uh, I was listening to, I think, Lexington's Rock Station. Pretty sure. And, um, yeah, you see, I heard this song called Fade to Black, and I was, like, I was absolutely, like, blown away by it, okay? I was, like, holy moly. This is Metallica? Like, dang. So, yeah. Like, <laughs> that was like, whoa. Um, yeah, now let's, uh, look inside here. Oh boy, the electric chair really makes me ride lightning. Alright, let's look inside our little booklet here. Um, Alright, guys. Oh, guys, very, um... Very exciting. Are you excited, Peyton B? Oh, there's Trapped Under Ice. I wonder why Metallica didn't perform that in Antarctica. If you guys haven't seen their performance that they did in Antarctica, um, go and, uh, go on YouTube and look up, uh, I think it was, uh, called Freeze Em All. Alright. It's like, they got pretty much, like, the whole concert on YouTube. And you can watch it on there. And, like, dude, they're literally performing in Antarctica. Okay, I mean, like, yeah. All right, so that there's a disc. Then now, we shall do, as we always do on this channel, where we actually test out our discs. Now, no pay and B hasn't been as uh well. Yeah, hasn't been as much of a long-time fan of Metallica as me. But have you heard this album before, Peyton B? Um, didn't think so. Alright, let's turn that down a bit. So let me show you guys, though. But, um, F made the black. This was called. Let me see here. I would just. I know, guys, I'm skipping like half a song. I want to show you guys, okay, the part where I was like, holy shit. Remember I showed this song, Pay and B, over on, like, YouTube? It was also, like... Like, he was like, holy shit.
so yeah, it's um coming up. Oh well, there's a little bit to sit through, but you know what? At this point, I'm not even afraid of copyright. Like, come get my ass. You know, if they want to strike me with lightning, this is fine by me. Yeah, this part. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn. Maybe it just sounds better on a car stereo, but... <laughs> Also, the lyrics, they go, they go hard as hell. Alright, that's uh, the kind of stuff I relate to, man. But then again, that doesn't sound too great coming out of my mouth, considering I also relate to other stuff. Like, the dark side of the moon and... Also, the Downward Spiral, which both of those albums start with the, except this album here has a the in the middle, unless you rearranged it as, um, the Lightning Ride. Yeah, uh, yeah, it kind of doesn't sound as cool as Ride the Lightning. But, uh, yeah, so that's our album for today. And then next, we shall show off, um, this, oops, here. I mean, this case, like, dang, I'm like... Bro, I might actually go to Google and have to, like, do some research on this, because, dog, this is unacceptable. I can't even get the, can't even get this out of here, okay? Alright, there we go. Yeah, that was, that was much harder than it should have been, dude. Um, also, if there's ads on here that I can't skip... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really mad. Alright, Warner Brothers. I don't care. No one cares about you, bro. Alright, so this, I guess it just has no ads. So we got here. Alright. We got play. Um, I have to grab the remote. Alright, play with English subtitles or with Spanish subtitles, okay. So yeah, that was Beetlejuice there. It just has a picture of the cover and then beside it is just text. And this is upon a black background and the text is just white. <laughs> Next we got Corpse Bride. Now, Pam B says that they've watched Corpse Bride, and it's really good, and I need to watch it with her. Okay. Yeah, I've, um, I've never watched it. Um, I've watched Beetlejuice. <laughs> I liked Beetlejuice. But. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with that menu, like, at all. Also, this disc here, it looks really, I don't know, you guys can't tell, but it does look dirty, ew, um, alright, taking a bit to load, um, alright, there we go. I was a bit scared for a moment that, like, that was actually, like, not gonna work. And I wouldn't have been too mad, because I don't really care for that version of the movie. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, bro. 
I really forgot the movie title. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for this version, though. Um... No, I don't want the soundtrack. No. Alright, that was an ad for Corpse Bride, even though that's literally on this disc. Alright, it seems here we have an actual menu. Wow. I'm... Yeah, I'm shocked. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Can you believe this, guys? Because, huh? I sure can't. And I'm trying to go through this quickly, because admittedly... About out of recording time. See, I mean, like, bro. At least this here just got a detail. Okay? Like that. It is nice. I like detail. Notice, too, how whenever the colors are poured... They're each different colors. <laughs> Very cool. Alright. I'm gonna pause real quick because I want to show y'all something. Alright, so here it is. This is, um, the Beetlejuice that we have. Well, now I have it, even though Bonnie's creations told me to throw it away, but I kept it. Because, uh, you see, while we was watching it, um, it, like, it stopped at a certain point, and then, I don't know, I was having issues. But then I tried it on here, and it did not have that issue, so, um, yeah. But I'll show you all what this here looks like, though. Since I don't think many of you all have seen these, um, movies where it's literally just ripped off of VHS. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this off, the sound off for this for copyright. Uh, before any of y'all ask me, um, um... I hope it's legal. I think it's legal. I think it's morally correct. <laughs> so, I mean, then again, though, I mean, most people who did this kind of stuff back in the day, I mean, they were just doing it to, like, preserve their VHS collections. Especially because if you look up how much VHS is, costed back in that day they were quite expensive um also i assure y'all the quality is not as bad as what's being shown on the camera it's just that uh, obviously since i'm not recording the footage directly off of here it yeah it's got this weird blue glow uh, sorry but Yeah, I mean, you know, so I mean, I think it's okay, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> if you do, then I think you suck. <laughs> but, yeah, now we have Beetlejuice. Along with Corpse Bride. And then I have Beetlejuice by itself. Um, now, which one of these would I pick? Um, 
Well, if I'm gonna watch Beetlejuice, probably just this one. Especially because I keep it in my black case here. Which I always have in my room. Which I, I know, guys, it's for music. But also, um, I currently don't know where else to put it, so I'm just housing it in there. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you like this video, give us a like, give us a subscriber, and comment down below if, um, you think that copyright laws are, uh, stupid, cause, um, yeah, and, yeah, even Pay and B gives that one a yeah, and, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye